Welcome to the series where we deploy Laravel apps on DigitalOcean without Docker. Today we are deploying Laravel with MySQL on Nginx. Shout out to Traversy Media for their educational Laravel website, which I'll be using again for this video. Let's take a quick look at the project we'll be deploying. It's a job posting website with a landing page with a list of available job posts. The app has authentication for users and a MySQL database to store user information and job ads. Next, let's set up a new server user and SSH keys. I already created a digital ocean droplet and if you don't know how to do it, I'll link a video above where you can see how to do it. Now let's connect to the droplet from our machine. Type in SSH root at IP address and then hit enter. This will connect us to our digital ocean server. We also need to create a new user called Ubuntu. To do that, we will type in add user Ubuntu and follow the prompts to create the new user. Next, we need to add the Ubuntu user to the admin users. To do that, we will type in add user Ubuntu sudo and hit enter. Now we need to create SSH keys. Type in SSH keygen T RSA. This will create keys for the root user. We also need to copy the authorized keys from the root user to the Ubuntu user. We can do that by typing in the following command in and hitting enter. These are the files that will be created and copied. Lastly, we need to change the owner of the .ssh folder to the Ubuntu user. To do that, we will type in the following line and hit enter. So now we have successfully connected to our digital ocean server and created a new Ubuntu user with administrative privileges. Type exit to log out of the server. We can connect to our digital ocean server as the Ubuntu user. Type in SSH Ubuntu at IP address. This will connect you to your digital ocean server as the Ubuntu user. First, let's update our Ubuntu packages. Type in sudo apt-get update and hit enter. Now let's install a firewall to secure our server. Type in sudo apt-get install ufw and hit enter. Next, we'll install nginx. Type in sudo apt-get install nginx and hit enter. Let's check the list of applications rules available for UFW. Type in sudo UFW app list and hit enter. Now we'll allow nginx full, so type in sudo UFW allow nginx full. Let's also allow SSH and MySQL. Type in sudo UFW allow SSH. Next, type in sudo UFW allow MySQL and hit enter. We'll set the default outgoing traffic as allow and default incoming traffic as deny. Now let's enable the firewall, type in sudo ufw enable and hit enter. Finally, let's check the status of our firewall. Type in sudo ufw status and hit enter. You should see a list of allowed services. Nginx full allows both for HTTP and HTTPS ports. Now, let's set up dependencies and configure MySQL. Let's install dependencies. Type in sudo apt-get install curl php cli phpm string zip and unzip. Next, we need to install MySQL server. Type in sudo apt-get install MySQL server and hit enter. Now let's log into MySQL by typing in sudo MySQL and hitting enter. To set a new password for root, type in alter user root at localhost, identified with MySQL underscore native underscore password by your password, and hit enter. We also need to create a new user named Ubuntu on MySQL. Type in create user Ubuntu at localhost, identified with MySQL underscore native underscore password by your password, and hit enter. Create the database you will be using by typing in the following command and hit enter. 
make sure to use the name of your database. Next, let's grant privileges on that database to the Ubuntu user. Type in the following command. To flush privileges, type in flush privileges and hit enter. Now we can exit MySQL by typing in exit semicolon and hitting enter. If you're not populating your database from Laravel, you need to bring in your database as an SQL file from your laptop. This section will be about importing your existing database to your server. Use Secure Copy SCP to copy the SQL file from the local machine to the server. SCP file name SQL Ubuntu at IP address colon tilde. Now let's log into our digital ocean server again. Log into MySQL by typing in sudo mysql u root p and hitting enter. Enter the password for the root user when prompted. Now let's switch to the database we want to import our data into by typing in the following line and hitting enter. To import our database, we'll use the source command. Type in the following. Finally, exit out of MySQL by typing in exit semicolon. Next, we need to install PHP. We can do that by running sudo apt-get install PHP. Now, let's install Composer. We can do this by running the commands found on the Composer download page. Here's how to do it. Next, we need to move the Composer executable to the bin folder so that we can access it easily. We can do that by running the following line. In this section, we will clone a repository with a Laravel app from GitHub. We'll also need to copy our public key, which is stored in the ID RSA pub file. We can do this by running cat ID RSA pub. This will output the contents of the file. We'll need to copy this and add it to our GitHub account. And we'll need to copy the SSH link to our repository so that we can clone it onto our server later on. Let's first cd into var wdw html folder. Two files are inside. The index.html is the default Apache file, which is displayed if we go and check the server by IP. Remove this file by sudo rm-findex.html. Now if we load the page by IP address again, we will see the default engine x page instead. Let's copy the repository link again. Now we will clone our repository in the same folder. Check the folder again and the repository should be there. Let's cd into this app folder for our next steps. In this section, we will configure the Laravel environment and install some additional dependencies. Inside the app folder, you will see the .env.example file. Create an environment file by copying that file. Type in sudo cp.env.example.env. Now let's edit the env file to adjust our database variables. Type sudo nano.env. Inside, we need to edit to include our database credentials. We can adjust our database variables by finding the lines that specify our database credentials and changing the values to match our server's database. Make sure to save the changes before closing the file. Now let's install some additional PHP extensions. Type in sudo apt-get install php xml, php curl, and php mysql. Now let's update and configure Laravel. Now let's update Composer with sudo composer update. Next, run sudo composer install. 
Now let's generate our apps key. Type in sudo php artisan key colon generate. If you have a database to migrate, then type in sudo php artisan migrate. To make Laravel assets public and accessible, run the following command. In this section, we will configure Nginx for Laravel. First, let's cd into the directory where the default server configuration file is, so cd etc nginx sites available. Inside this directory, the file default is the default server configuration. Let's create a copy of this file and call it Laravel, so type in sudo cp default Laravel. We will need to change the ownership to the folder where our app files are, so we type in sudo chown rww data colon ww data and var www html. We also need to install a php fpm extension. Type in sudo apt-get install php fpm. Never mind the typo. Now we will edit the server configuration file. Type in sudo nano etc nginx sites available laravel. Inside this file, change the root directory to the full path where our Laravel app is. In this case, we add laragigs, public, add index.php to index. If you know the server names that you will be using, then add them here. Change location try files to the following. Uncomment the following lines. Change the PHP FPM version to the one you have installed. Uncomment the following lines. Save and exit. CD into sites enabled. Link the created configuration in file named Laravel with enabled. Type in sudo ln setc nginx sites available. Laravel etc nginx sites enabled. Never mind the typo. In this section, we will set up DNS and obtain SSL certificates with CertBot. I will be configuring DNS on Google domains. You can pause the video at any time to see what I'm doing for my website. Now I'll be guiding you through the process of obtaining SSL certificates for your domain using CertBot. First, head over to CertBot's website. Choose Nginx and select your Ubuntu version. Once you've done that, run the suggested lines. These will install CertBot on your machine and create a symlink to its binary file. Now run a dry run to check if the certificates will renew automatically. Finally open the server configuration file again. Delete all that wasn't created by CertBot, save and exit. Restart and all's done.